Uh, Johnny, overall, how do you think the, the defense looked in the first game? Uh, we played hard. It's a physical game. Uh, a lot of things to work on. But uh, overall, I thought, you know, the kids came out and played play a lot of guys, 31 guys on defense. So it was good to see. Just in terms of snap count with linebackers, and, and what do you think is the plan right now for a guy like Flo? Uh, just different, you know, uh, the rotation of how we're playing guys, and then obviously the package, you know, third down package some guys are in. So that's how we're using Flo more and more. Uh, obviously, the game was, you know, it was a 11 personnel game, so we didn't, you didn't get to see Flo when, we, when you use them in 12 personnel stuff. For both of you guys, uh, in terms of the screen pass game, uh, Brennan, what did you like about the way you guys were able to get the ball to your running backs in space? And then for Johnny, how would you like to defend it better because they were able to get yards in that aspect as well? Who first? No, I got it. Uh, no, uh, it was a huge emphasis to get our, uh, our running backs the ball um, in, in a number of ways, um, and I don't see that changing. Uh, those guys are really talented with the ball in their hands. Um, I mean, you get to see those guys, you know, make plays downfield, break tackles. Uh, so we'll continue to do that. And for us, we just got to keep, you know, assignment sound. You know, guys got to understand where their fit's going to be. When you look at the explosive play, it wasn't what they did. It's us mis misaligning, and that's what we gave it the one explosive play we had. So guys just got to tr trust his, you know, the guy that's next to him, where his help's coming from, and all that good stuff. For Johnny. When did the coaching staff start talking about giving Martell a scholarship? What were those conversations like? Uh, that was on coach on Friday, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that came out of nowhere, but I think he has earned the right to get one. Uh, he worked so hard, you know, in the offseason. He's got an unbelievable story, a kid that came out of nowhere, sleep in his car, and then just work his tail off. And, you know, he deserved a scholarship, and, and I think his teammates really respect him. They were fired up for him when he got it. So it was all coach. Uh, for both of you guys, first, Johnny, the run defense, I think, ended at number one in PFF across the country. How much do you take of that from this game? And then for Brennan on the offensive line, you guys were missing Roberto, uh, sorry, Raymond Polito, and then Sam Laney had to come in and fill in. How do you think he filled in there? For us, I mean, that's the main focus for us is stop the run, you know. Uh, so we start practice that way. Uh, we start meetings that way. So our, our guys, that's the number one priority in our defense. You know, uh, the three areas we talked about, how you measure a good defense is stop the run, don't give up, eliminate the ex, uh, explosive plays, and then take the ball away, and that's the focus. Uh, yeah, uh, we had a little late week injury uh, on Ray, and uh, so he wasn't able to suit up for this one. Um, but uh, Sam did a fantastic job stepping in. He'd been, you know, repping a tackle all week. Um, you know, being ready to take over for uh, for Jordan if he needed to come out, um, but uh, but Borjan stepped in, did great. Uh, uh, Longy did awesome. Uh, you know, we got the, had some pretty good uh, runs early on, and you know, we were able to uh, run the ball um, kind of throughout the game. So uh, it, all the guys did great. Brennan, uh, Jed said that the only practice you could really even do with this five man line was was a walkthrough in uh, a ballroom. What does that even entail? You're talking about for which week are we on right now? The last week or this week? Yeah, like for this well, between when Raymond was hurt and when. You oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, yeah, the, but our that's why we cross train our guys so that they can jump in at any spot if we need to. Um, I mean, it was no flinch, no blink. The guys just went on and played and um, knew their assignments. Uh, assignment wise, they're really good. Technique stuff, obviously, we got to fix and a bunch of stuff. But uh, knowing where they were going, who they were going to, was uh, they did a great job. Which is uh, on uh, Josh Baker, who did a fantastic job calling the game. Uh, two for Brennan. Um, the first one, there were a couple plays where Wendell Muddle was running downfield on screens. Would he have been able to do that uh, this time a year ago? And then the second one, what did uh, Jonah Coleman show you as far as his skill set? Yeah, uh, Wendell this time last year, that no, <laughs> it would not have been available to us. Um, but, you know, at the end of last season, uh, he got in really good shape and um, He's had a great off season. He's been uh, he's been a fantastic uh, member of the room, uh, member on offense. Um, we're really excited about the way he played. He played great. Um, and then uh, Jonah, uh, you can see the development from year one to year two. Um, he looks faster, looks stronger, looks quicker. Um, could always catch the ball really well. So that's not a that's you know nothing new that we we didn't expect. But um, it was great to see that uh, live out there. So. Um, uh, you know, it wasn't a surprise to us that he was able to do all that. He's been kind of showing it all camp, and um, excited for him. Justin and Dave. Uh, 
Brandon, how much has Jaden grown as a runner since the Mississippi State game a year ago? Um, oh, you're talking about the long run? So, uh, yeah, it's kind of always, you know, a tool we've had in our, in our belt. Um, it doesn't happen very often where that's the case where he's going to go out and pull it. But, um, you know, it's something we're looking to maybe do it a couple more times. So pretty quick out there. Yeah, but, but it seemed like the game last year against Mississippi State, he was kind of reluctant to run. You think he got gotcha. you? Okay, so uh, uh, a little bit, yeah. I mean, he's always low, uh, always learning, always growing, um, and uh, I think he saw that. And then, it, you know, the couple of games following that one, he ran the ball a little bit more. Um, he's never been against it. He's just, you know, been kind of was classically trained to just stay in the pocket and throw the ball. Um, but uh, yeah, he's it's it's an element to his game that uh, that he definitely has, and uh, we're excited about. And for Johnny, how different is this Mississippi State offense? Uh, this year compared to last year? Totally different. Uh, there's more to focus on running the football. Uh, this year, uh, you know, the quarterback's the same guy. Some of the skilled guys are back, but they're completely focused on running the ball. So it's totally different. Johnny, there were a couple times against AU when they went three wide with no receiver on the one side that you guys brought Gunner down and then had Dylan Wyatt back. Just what was the mindset in that defense? We hadn't really seen Wyatt back deep like that. Oh, wow, that's a unique thing about college football, there's so many things to defend. You know, when you see that, they're going on balance, so there's no available receiver in the back end. So we just rotate our safeties down and, um, you know, and play our coverage and, and the run fit stays the same because he's never a part of the run fits. So that was, uh, you know, we did it last year against Oregon. You've, you know, uh, it was different guys back there, but that's the, that was the plan. I think you got, uh, John, you got 10 defensive linemen in the game, nine in the regular rotation before uh, it got to the, the late stages. Is that a, a good number? And do you uh, see Tia being part of that since he was, uh, we thought he'd be starting and wasn't able to do the first half? Yeah, that's about the right number, about nine to 10 guys, you know, keeping guys fresh and all that good stuff. Like I always talked about, you know, certain guys are playing in certain third down roles. Some guys are playing in when they're in 12 personnel, you want to get bigger bodies in there. So that's by design. But, you know, like I said, all fall camp, you know, that the, the, the main focus is trying to play more D lineman guys to keep everybody fresh. And is, is T available? Uh, I believe so, yep. Jason and then Michael. Uh, question for both of you. For Johnny, how do you foresee the, the safety competition this week with Gunnar out in the first half? And then Brennan, what kind of challenges does the Mississippi defense uh, present? Uh, you know, you're going to see Genesis and uh, IT more, you know, obviously because he won't. Gunner's not available. DJ is going to, you know, play some. Uh, so we're going to work on that. You know, uh, obviously, you know, Stukes too. You know, depending on what he's going to be doing, and so we're going to rotate some guys today at practice, and um, you know, and then tomorrow and see what what the best fit is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mississippi State's uh, defense, uh, especially their front, uh, their coverage is tough too. Um, they do a really good job in their system. Um, it's very unique. Um, it's uh, there's movement all over the place. Um, so it's a, it's a great challenge for us. Our guys are up for it. Um, you know, it's something we faced last year, so we have an idea of what it is. Um, but it's, it's going to be a great challenge. Those guys are tough, physical up front, a lot of returning guys. Um, a lot of guys play a lot of reps for them. Um, so it'll be a, it's a great challenge. We, we're fired up to take the show on the road and see if we can uh, do something. Uh, two questions for Johnny. I'll, I'll ask them one at a time. The first one, um, what did Isaiah Ward and Ty Ty Show you in that volume? Uh, a lot of things. Like, we could do a lot of things with them, you know, uh, moving them around. Ty Ty give us the flexibility to play outside and inside, you know, um, you know, and then War, he's just got that motor, man. I mean, he plays hard every play, and so it was good to see. Okay, and then the second one, the, the defensive tackles, it doesn't always show up in the stats, um, the influence that they have, but when you watch the game or watch the film, what did you see? How yeah, did that's the first thing I pointed out on Sunday. You know, Sundays tell the truth, you know, um, you know, and we pinpoint. If it wasn't for those two inside guys, some of these plays, you know, wouldn't be made the way it fits. So they're always getting, you know, credit in our eyes. You know, maybe not in the stats, but in our eyes, they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Jason, last question. Uh, yeah, Jason Martina, nine. We talked about Coach Hanson now. About the size that you brought in in the offseason, is this the type of opponent where you hope to see that type of defense come to come to fruition? Oh, most definitely. I mean, they're huge up front, so you know that's the plan moving forward. You know, if you're going to build a defense, you're going to build it from the front. So that was the main focus going into last, you know, after last season, and 
it, you know, it's going to be a good challenge, man. I'm looking forward to it and challenge our guys to have a great week of practice and prepare really well and then go down there and play football. All right, that's our time. Thank you, guys. I do miss the freestyle format, but, you know, it worked out great. Man, that's a good one. You got to do a twist.